Um, hey guys, hey, you want to hear me? Yes, all right, I'm here. One second, all right. Uh, this is more like a review. How's everyone doing? Oh, 30 views, nice. How's everyone doing? Um, I guess... I'm not sure what Duolingo teaches because, um... Uh, I do not use Duolingo. Uh... <laughs> well... I don't really know. I guess? I guess it does? I mean, like, well, I'm going to be asked, this is just going to be a review stream. So there's like, I'll just show you what you guys have learned next, last week. Uh, if you haven't, if, if Duolingo doesn't teach particles, then no. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> it's like, mm, okay. Uh, Duolingo is like, from what I know, it just like, it just gives you phrases and then you just memorize those. Which doesn't really help because you're trying to learn foundation. And yeah, okay, here we go. E uh, Xer Eyes here, uh, if you can read Katakana. He here has is a uh, person who's used Duolingo before. And he tells me that he hated learning Japanese because 
um it was just terrible so i kind of feel for him uh so yeah uh i suggest taking advice from him because he's been studying here or he's been studying uh my lessons for um ever since i started so yeah and he he says he's benefited from this so yeah yeah okay i think duolingo comes okay from what you guys are talking about um i guess it's based on just um vocab i don't really know so <laughs> Alright, uh, I hope all of you guys have been practicing. Uh, I'm thankful that the stream hasn't been taken down. So, hold on, let me. Is the music too loud? Sorry, I just need to know. Is the music too loud for you guys? So, is it alright? Okay, cool. Beautiful. All right. Well, welcome everyone. Um, thanks for joining. Uh, I promised to, to get done. So we have about less than two hours before the, before, if you guys are here to um, watch the Hall Life Fiction debut, I won't keep you long for long. Uh, yeah, you guys can go once the, once this, once this review streams up and go and enjoy Fifth gen, uh, Lamy's debut. All right. Um. Yep. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go through what we learned on. It's gonna be a, a very. It's gonna be very very short. Oh. All right. Start the recap. Um. So. You guys, you guys know this, right? I'm sure you guys remember taking notes. I hope you guys all took notes on these. So when you look at when you look at each of these concepts, you should know uh, what what how to use these, or at least you know have an idea of what they're used for. Is is everyone clear of that? Alright. Okay. <laughs> this is taking a while. I, I I don't know why it was such a um a long delay. Alright, okay, so just going through this quickly, su subject particle this is a, a this is pronounced wa, but it has the character ha to represent the subject particle. So the subject in the sentence, the uh focus slash main topic of the uh of the sentence ga is not here yet ga will be discussed on saturday so if you can come on saturday uh you'll learn something new every saturday is a new is the the new lesson new lesson stream so ga is not here yet uh do i have to answer it now it's very complicated do you guys really want the answer now, or do you what would you prefer to wait till Saturday? Yeah, guys, not used as often as wa. So do you guys do you guys really want to know about it now? Yes, I will be doing adjectives as well because I know like oh uh, Riku. So one 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 guy from the Discord is just like oh, okay, I'm gonna post this uh uh. Uh, homework and it had stuff that none of you guys uh, none of you guys have learned yet or those of you who are beginners you guys probably haven't touched on those yet you may have seen it or heard it but uh, you might still be uh, new to it so I wouldn't say ga is used when ha wa, wa is used when wa isn't used because there's a bit more of a nuance to it usually you use wa Ga is like, oh no, I I I won't spoil it here because, uh, I just want you guys to remember what you've learned, or at least like have a recap because I know some of you might be busy, 
you might not have time to study. So take this as an opportunity to study or like, you know, review with everyone. Okay. What is uh the subject particle as we said? So any the topic so any noun or person place thing that's the focus that is what? Object is the is the thing, person, or yeah, thing or person receiving an action, so a verb. You would put O in front of uh, so you put O in front of the, the on the right side of the noun, right? Before usually it, it goes right before the verb. And then the time and location particle uh, is for time. So when you when you're trying to say when when you're going somewhere, I'm going to this place at two o'clock, two p.m. Then I'll use ni for the time. So ni ji ni. Doko ka which means somewhere. Ni ikimasu. And then for depth, it's the oh yeah. And then dokoka dokoka ni ikimas. Yeah. So for place as well. So dokoka can be considered. Uh, it's a it's a pla it's a noun for a place or just a word for somewhere. And then for depth, it's the action. At location slash means particle. So when something is being done at a certain place, being done. So not not like when you you don't. I I just learned this today actually from uh, a guy on on the Discord channel. So uh, so for me, it's for whenever whenever an an action uh, is a is a is a it's a one shot or a it's something that ends as soon as the the subject or in this usually it's the person when they reach a uh, destination when they reach that uh, the destination as uh, indicated by the knee particle uh, it's usually knee so uh, knee is used instead of there because knee and there can be interchanged uh, it can be confusing because some some people, if they're not experienced enough, they might use one or the other. Yeah. So, iku is a verb that once you reach that once you reach the destination, it stops. So, like that that in those cases, you would you would use uh, ni. If it's something that still continues after you reach the place, then you use there. That's why it's action and location. Did everyone understand that? Uh, I hope I hope I haven't confused anyone, but uh, I learned this day, so uh, I thought of sharing it with you guys because uh, I managed to understand it today. It's actually news to me as well because uh, yeah, I haven't really thought of it that way. I get confused with those two uh, particles as well. Okay, well we'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, you guys will see in the next couple of questions. There's gonna be two instead of four today, and uh, I didn't prepare any Google, <laughs> Google forms, so we'll just um, discuss it here on uh, on the the stream chat. Okay, and then verbs. I'm sure. Uh, I think they struggle as well. Like native speakers also struggle with kanji. What's to say that they they are not struggling with uh. The, with their own language as well because whenever someone is native to a certain country they speak it but sometimes they may not be able to explain it so whenever they say something uh, a lot of times they do know so they'll be like oh okay it's um, yeah I mean think about how when we use English we don't really think about that much right we just uh, we just use it yeah we listen we speak we write it down and if it makes sense to us it makes sense to us but we can't explain to someone who's let's say a non-english uh 
who's using English as a second language. I'm sure some of you are here are that person. You don't use English, yeah, or English isn't your first language. You you either speak Spanish. I know there's a lot of um, people who are from South America, uh, who watch, who are currently watching my streams, or you're from Europe or something. Uh, yeah, you you know, uh, if you if you've been studying, yeah, there you go, Russian as well. So if you've been studying, uh, let's see. Yeah, if you if you're studying some if you're studying English from a uh, a country that uses their own language instead of English, then of course you 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 would think a lot more than someone who speaks English as their native language. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's I hope that answers that question. Yeah. So they aren't really too concerned about it. Yeah. That's why some yeah sometimes when uh, I guess it's a bit hard to ask people uh, where uh, na sometimes it's a bit hard to ask native people when you're trying to understand it. Well, I mean, even if you haven't studied English, right? Um, was it? Uh, how should I say this? Uh, you just use the line, so. Like, okay. So, uh, some people, uh, was it some people that actually help uh, me prepare for my Japanese lessons? So on the Discord channel, uh, or a few, a few people, they learned by ear. One of them is uh, one of the uh, moderators here. He's not here at the moment. I don't know why. Wait, where is he? Where is Riku? Let me check. Oh come on, where is he? He's lazy. I don't know why he didn't join today. Oh my god. Where is he? Alright, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Rico's not here! And he's the one who prepared the bad homework! Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make fun of him later, but alright. Um, <laughs> alright, uh, and then another guy is... Um, is it, uh, there's, a, there's a, another guy on the Discord channel, and he... He's a mu he's much more I guess experienced in the language as me, but every but no offense to him he's he's a really really good uh, he's really good at telling what whether if I'm if I'm doing if I'm making a uh, wrong sentence he'll he'll pick it up better than me no no not 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 cha it's um respect no uh Kwan's just like you guys beginner uh but. I'm talking about, uh, yeah, Riku learned by ear, not not by, um, not by learning the concepts like I'm discussing, like I'm teaching you guys now. Uh, he picked it up by ear. Uh, yeah, Riku and Respect both picked it, uh, picked up by ear, and sometimes, uh, they're not able to tell the well. Respect is able to tell because he studies it, but Riku on Riku is. He just listens. So whenever he speaks, uh, or like whenever he uses Japanese, uh, if some of you have done his homework, you'd be like, uh, okay, uh, I'm not sure what this is, but I'll try it anyway. But for us who know the language, we know that he he did it. Like, uh, some parts of it is not exactly correct. Uh, as much as he's really helpful with uh, preparing the homework for you guys. Uh, yeah, so... That's why it's it's very important to like uh, get to understand the concepts. No, 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 they're not. Riku is from the Philippines and Respect is from Europe. No, they're not natives. Uh, Respect has just learned it so much uh, that you see that that's that's easy. That's you can do that, but you may not. But let's say someone makes a grammar mistake or like you're trying to see if someone is correct or not you cut sometimes you may not be able to tell if someone is uh it or you can say it sounds weird or it's like oh okay this is just not correct because it just doesn't sound right but 
if you don't learn the concept, you can't exactly tell where that person is going wrong. Uh, yeah. So just it's it's just my uh, yeah. I I I got a bit long winded, but uh, yeah. It's just to answer the X Rises question. Uh, yeah. Oh no, it was uh, sorry. Orange waffles. This question. Where do natives know the difference? Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. Sorry, about, uh, sorry for the long, the long talk. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, talk about that for a bit. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's do this. So the first question, I'm sure this is very easy. If you guys know how to convert uh, verbs into polite forms, you, uh, you should be able to get this done in like. Five to ten minutes. You guys want to give it a go? Five to ten minutes. And then I'll take out my notepad and uh, go to the answers. Alright, give this a shot. Uh, yeah, you can type in the chat. Like, I mean, you can do both. I actually, I'd, I'd say do both because uh, if you write it down, you can remember it. Uh, but typing in chat is okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I, I will. I will do the answers like once everyone's done. But I don't. I don't. I want you guys to think first. More than that, you guys think and uh, use your heads first. I'll give you guys like um, 15 minutes or something. Hold on, let me get stop watch out. Stop watch. Let's give everyone 15 minutes. You guys can try this. Uh, the other way around. English speaking, um, English speaking Japanese. So, uh, I'm not Japanese myself, but I. L okay, so uh, while everyone's doing it, I'll just give a overview because some of you are new. You guys haven't met me before, or you guys haven't joined my stream before. Yeah, so. I'm currently living in Australia, uh, and I studied Japanese, self-studied most of, yeah, yeah, Australian. I studied for, this, I think it's six years now. Uh, I can't remember when exactly. Actually, it might be five years, might be like a couple of weeks more before my six year anniversary, but uh, I learned Japanese by myself. You know, the funny thing is I, when, it's all right. Just um. Uh, okay. I should. Oh wait. Let me. One. Out. Out. Sorry. Uh, this is the fastest way for me to uh type in the kanji. So. Uh. Oh, sorry. The 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 furigana reading. Uh, does that help? There you go. It's all right. Just um, learn now. If you if you haven't learned it, now's a good time. Why do you think I'm why do you think I'm like you know putting all these words in? This isn't just for my amusement, alright? Yeah, thanks. 
I I'm 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 trying my best to make it like better. Uh, I only started streaming recently, so I know it's very. Uh, I know my methods are kind of I guess primitive, or it's like it's still very new, and I'm still trying to figure out everything. You know, uh, how to to properly set up my channel, uh, hardware stuff. Um, you could, I guess, uh, but I don't know, like, if you know the meaning, just use it, but, uh, I can, hold on, uh, I'll share, I'll share after this, the, 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 the next question, uh, usually, usually I, you know, give the PowerPoints later because, uh, I'd much prefer for you guys to like pay attention first rather than just read through the um the slides. I do that, so I know. <laughs> I know you guys are gonna just yeah, I'll link it later at the end. <laughs> I'll link it at the end. Mm -hmm. 35 viewers. Nice. Anyways, uh back to my, my back to my convo uh well like the um the topic I was talking about earlier. I yeah, I'm from Australia. I've been learning for about close to six years now. I've I started out with like wanting to play games, and like I mentioned this before on the first stream. <laughs> yes, yes. Just, just, just try it. Just try it. I'm not. I'm not going to share it yet. Uh yes and no. For that question, GR. GR14. Uh, yes, I. So, my my job is currently uh, I'm I'm working as a sysadmin, but I, as I said, I studied for six years, and I find I found out because uh, some uh, many of you were led to my channel by Kron Kronokai. Uh, he was the one. Cause I, I actually I initially just taught him, you know, I was just like, oh you wanna learn Japanese? And um he was like, Oh yeah, I, I would love to. And he was very excited about it. And he was like, Oh I I I, I wish I had a teacher. And I was like, Why don't I teach you? I'll do I'll I'll do it for free. And then I did it, you know, not knowing that people would enjoy my uh would enjoy me streaming. So that's why I continue with that. Like, when I first started streaming games, because I, I tried doing some Twitch streaming for games before, because no one came to no one came to me to watch me play Sekiro. Um, or like a few people came and just weren't interested. So I kind of gave up before. But like now, because I know that people people are just saying across the board, uh, I've been getting so many good um, good uh, comments from you guys um, from you know people who just came by my channel and just like oh I love this and uh, yeah it made me want to do more and uh, I realized how good uh, of a uh, that I, was, I am able to teach so that's why I'm excited to do this uh, and yeah now I'm end up here uh, giving you guys my experience uh, so, on top of playing, on top of playing games, I play, I play, I play JRPGs uh, a lot. Like when I started, so some of you here know Kingdom Hearts. Uh, if you've played that before, oh, um, it's just a review stream. So this is like, uh, yeah, this is the first question. So don't worry, Darren, you you're you're not exactly late. I was just having some chat with um. Well, I was just um, talking with the uh, with uh, you guys, with the the whole audience. Yeah, uh, I played. Um, I tried playing ja uh, King of Hearts in Japanese. Yeah, um, I could, but the thing is that that was uh, a long. Like I want just wanted to study, and I was a really hardcore gamer uh, back then. Like I didn't really. My intention was not really to stream. My intention was mainly because I like, I used to like doing a lot of like world first stuff or like you know a lot of hard content. 
uh, that was just me, and I I I used to play. So uh, I'm not sure how many of you know about Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So basically, there was this um, that's this super hard boss. Uh, um, I wasn't I'm I wasn't really well. Okay, the thing was that with Pokemon, right? There was region lock. There was, there was region locks for like the 3DS and like uh, I just couldn't get my hands on it. Uh, it was hard to find uh, Jap good Japanese games. As much as that is true, yes, uh, but I wasn't really a, a much of a Pokemon person. I like I like some Pokemon games, like Black and White is my favorite, uh, especially White because Zekrom is my favorite Pokemon. Uh, but in general, I'm not really a Pokemon person. Uh, and then, what else? Yeah, that's right. I played the Saw Online. Uh, I played the Saw Online games. The, the first one I played was Hollow Fragment, and because I just wanted to get into it, you know, get my feet into the door, just learn something. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'll just wait until this countdown timer goes down. You guys, you can just listen to me talk. <laughs> so yeah, I I played a uh, Saw Online, uh, and it was it was fun, I guess. The Saw Online Hollow Fragment as a Japanese, uh, it has MMORPG aspects. I really enjoyed it. So I just played that in Japanese and I was also watching uh, streams online. Yes, not really streams, more like videos. Yeah, yeah let's plays. Uh, but on top of me playing games, I also, I ha I've watched some anime before and I, I actually wanted to learn uh, Japanese for kind of to watch anime. But that wasn't really my main focus. I still wanted to master language, regardless of the anime. Um, yeah, I can't remember what else. Yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> that's all I can remember. And I kept going. Didn't really, didn't really think too much about it, other than the fact that I just had to, you know, get better at it. And then once I reached the was it three years it was yeah and then i also did a lot of uh, socializing with japanese people i went i met like friends uh no no i can like i can speak a bit of mandarin a bit of uh cantonese but i'm mostly it's i'm my forte is japanese besides english yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, to, study, to understand VTubers as well, uh, but I said my first stream, like, when, you, when you're when you trying to pick up motivations, right, uh, it can't be anything. Uh, I would say maybe not just aim for VTubers because, you know, uh, it may limit, like, how far you want to go. Although, I can't really say, like, what you should be doing it for. For me personally, I just wanted to get, just master the language. Oh, studying past the exams. <laughs> I never got such an opportunity in school to learn Japanese. I had to, to like, do everything the hard way. Like, you know, find the information myself. Uh, like, these, this kind of, the, the kind of streams that I do with like the memes and stuff, that was never there when I started. It was like boring lessons, uh, boring like information that I had to get, but I got it because I understood. I already have an entry. Uh, oh, don't worry. Um, I'm just chatting. Uh, you still have like three minutes. Uh, if you can, if you if you want to figure it out, uh, Haruki, Haruki, sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
that's true. Yes, I would say VTuber is more realistic than like yeah, anime. Because with anime, you learn just the lines rather than you know you could. It's not just. Uh, it's not just memorizing lines. You adapt. Yes. Uh, so for some of you that don't uh that haven't really browsed my channel, uh, you might have seen my uh B my meal uh my meal translation vid. The, the one that I did, which was 20 minutes long, uh, I did that, most of it, uh, yeah, actually, no, not just most of it, all of it, and then I had some people check my translations, most of it was fine, uh, yeah, I can hear but I can't read anything, well, that's why you're here, right, you want to learn, is that not why you're here, you're here to learn, right? I'm sure. I'm sure that's everyone in this. Uh, in the, in that's listening to me right now. They're here to learn how to read. You should watch my meal one as well. I made like a special edit in there. I think you'd laugh, especially in the season with the whole corona coronavirus thing. Mm hmm. Okay. Not not necessarily the coronavirus thing. It's more like the um. The, the funny stuff that happens because of this. Uh, yeah. One more minute for everyone. <sighs> yeah, I... I guess... Some people just want to get the information out, you know. For me, I don't like that approach because I know that whenever, pe whenever, you know, people have different ways of learning. I understand that whenever people go to school, they hate it because it's like they they try to learn the language, but they're stuck with all these like, um, you know, techniques that don't make sense. People don't un people don't explain things properly, and he, and then. You realize, oh, uh, is that is is that what it's supposed to mean? And then you don't you don't actually know because people are just following the syllabus rather than you know properly teaching. Um, yeah. So yeah. All right, we're done. All right, time's up. Put your pencils down, people. All right. Okay, so <laughs> thank you. That's I'm 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 so glad to hear that. You know, in fact, right? Um, was it? Uh, I learned Mandarin before, and like, if um, is it if if I get the opportunity to, I might uh, I might like actually try and learn from you guys, and then try and do a lesson lesson series on that. I don't know. Um, I want. I I don't know how this channel is gonna go, but like for now, it's just Japanese. So, um, I guess keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. All right, let's start. So, for so I remember. So you remember? You guys remember the uh, the three groups of verbs, right? So you have uh, the the Godan, just uh, group one, the Ichidan, group two, and then the uh, and then the irregular. So, first of all, uh, you guys have you guys identified which group this is in? I'm just asking. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you guys have like actually thought of the groups, but I'm pretty sure you guys just know how to convert it. Yeah, yeah, it's go down. So I usually just go by the numbers. It's easy that way. So for this one, it's a go down. So you would change the the. U vowel or the U, the U character to an E, the E on the column. So this is an U. You will follow the A I E O U. So in this case, it will be I. So it will be I must. Does everyone get that? I must. So. You, you remove the oo, this part goes away. Hold on. Uh, so, remove 
move the R and plus E oh, E plus mass like this. Okay, so uh oh, now you see it should be Does everyone get that? Alright. Okay. Cool. Alright, so for the next one, without. So, alright, so I'll just give you guys the definitions. Make sure you write this down. Ao is to meet, to meet with someone. So, yeah. To meet to so when two people uh, go to a certain place and they say hi to each other, that's to meet. I'm sure you guys know what that means. <laughs> uh, yep, that's the first one. To meet, Utao is the sing. So you see the kanji here. That's the the kanji for uh, music. One kanji for music. So it'll be. So I'll remove that. I remove the U, and then add the E plus mass, and then I mass. Like this. There. Is everyone clear about this? Number two is Utaimas from Utao thing. Okay. One. Hey. All right. Good to know. All right. This is another go down verb. Group one. Plus mass. Yeah. I must. All right. Number four. Oh yeah. Uh, do you guys know what this word means? I'm gonna let you guys try it this time. What does cow mean? For those of you who know the word. Cow, yeah, to buy. It's purchase is a there's a there's like a two kanji word for it, but in this case we're just gonna go with buy. Buy is the uh the simplest way to put it. All right. For Akiru, it's a group two verb because it's, it's it ends with eru. It's not an exception. This is an actual group two verb. It ends with root. So this is Akeru. So how do we do this? How how do we change this to polite? So first you remove the the roo. The roo must go away first. And then you just add mask. That's it. And then you and then you put that together it becomes Akemas. That's it. Yeah, get rid of the roo. When, when it becomes a group two, so whenever it's something ends with a root, usually ends with a root, uh, yeah, you would change uh, the. You change, you, sorry, you remove the root and add mass to it. Alright. And what does Akeru mean? Or Akimas, or ak yeah, Akeru or Akimas. Do you guys know what it means? Mm -hmm. Open. Mm. Yep. Very good. Oh, you guys, you guys are ahead. All right. Good job. All right. Shimarimas. Ups. <laughs> Not yet. So. So for this one, um. 
this one is not okay i think this one is the is one the the debate works because i think it should be shimarimasu wait let me ch let me ju let me just check i just want to make sure i'm not wrong here it should be shimarimasu yeah this one but uh uh i'm just trying to follow our vocab one second uh should be shimarimasu uh let me just check quick uh one moment shimaru Oh yeah, it's uh, let me see. yeah, shimarimasu. So... Oh, it's a, okay. It's a golden verb. So this is a uh, group one. Uh, so this is a debate. Uh, debate verb. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, group. Uh, okay. I think. I think I made I I forgot to mention this. All right, so anything with like M, so anything with a anything with Eru or Iru, this would be uh, group two because uh, those anything with an Eru or Iru, you all you have to do is just remove the all you all you do is just remove the root and. Move the, the mask. No, it's just the names, uh, Tommy. It's like, uh, so Ichi go Goda Ichidan is just the the name that they gave to the verb types. Yes, with some exceptions, of course. But uh, anything anything that ends with an eru or iru, except high except okay. There, there of course there's there's some exceptions, but most of the time eru and iru fall under group two. And uh, that's how you get something like Akemas, where it's uh, Akeru, where it's you remove the root and you add the mask on it, it becomes Akemas. For Shimaru, because it's it ends with an Aru rather than an Iru or an Eru, it'll be a group one. Let's put this here. Yeah, anything that's like uh, Aru, Oru as well is uh, group one. That should be the case. If if anyone wants to correct me, please do so because um, if it's sometimes I might forget. Uh, I'm 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 also learning, but I'm just a bit more experienced. That's it. That's the only difference between me and you guys. I'm just I'm just as much as a uh, uh, learner as you, yeah. Okay. So for this, because it's a group one, you would change the root to a, a the the e sound that so becomes ri. So shimari. Uh, so it becomes shimari mas. Yeah. So, and what is the meaning for shimari? Sh sorry, shimaru. Close. Yeah. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Okay. Tatsu. Alright. What group is this? What group what group verb is this? What group verb is this? You guys know? Go on, yeah. Mm hmm? I mean, it's okay if you, if you get the if you get the classification names uh, like uh, wrong, but you still get the the conjugation correct. Uh, uh, yeah, if you get the conjugation right, that's not a problem. Like as long as you're able to reproduce it. No, tats, tatsu is tatsu is a um is a is a godan. So it's a group one because you see it ends with a two. It's not an eru or iru. Tatsu. 
Two is a uh, was it anything ending with an U? It's always group one. Always group one. Well, I picked it up, right? So, uh, for those who don't know uh, about Group One and Group Two, I just uh, I, I searched it up for to help you guys understand it. So, yeah, they're basically just verb classification. So, uh, for those who don't know, Group One is uh, anything that ends with U, some, uh, and then U, Ardu, Ordu. And then there's a few exceptions which also go into group one for Iku. So hashi, Hashiru uh, is one to run. And then Hairimas or oh, Hairu is another group one that ends with an Iru. That's an exception as well. So Hairu is to enter. Yeah, to, en to enter. Yeah, not to put in. Just uh, enter and put in have the same kanji, but they're both they both have different uh, they're both different words. Anyways, so what is ta uh, what's the uh, the so Tatsu is a group one. You guys know how to change it. I'm going I'm going to like slowly take off the training wheels from you guys as you like start learning. You start figuring this out. I'll start taking off training wheels. Duolingo doesn't does it doesn't do this, or like you know, a lot of uh, a lot of study apps. As much as they help, they don't always like take off the training wheels one one by one. They just give you the um the <laughs> they just give you the words or the the lines. All right, memorize this. That's it. They don't you 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 don't always learn the concepts. And if you usually usually you have to actually go and like manually search it up. Yeah, it's Tatimas. Okay. How do we how do we change this? So because it's a group one, we remove the two. We change that to a, to a cheat. So the on the T column, uh, the the I sound for the T column is cheat, and then tatimas, and then you add the mas. So tatimas like this. Onion two. I mean like polite polite speech is good because all right think about it this way all right so you go to Japan and like because Japan still falls Japan still has very traditional culture and they do they still use a lot of polite speech they may not exactly be like you know uh, they may not exactly be like I guess a lot of them are authentic, yes, but some people are, uh, just aren't, and they just use they just use uh, polite because it's part of their culture. But most of the time, polite speech usually gets you the furthest. I would say uh, it gives it doesn't give you a, it doesn't put you under a bad light. So for I guess between friends, it's just unnatural it's not bad it's never bad like i mean let's say let's say i'm talking to you right now imagine if i if my if i keep on you know i know some people like this that's why they go on twitch but like let's say someone speaks and like you know um they swear a lot they they curse a lot i mean uh for the memes i understand it's fun right but for someone who's like you know they just want to learn something new they don't want to have to go through all the the um the mess or like they don't want to uh i guess they they don't like that sort of atmosphere then you know what does that mean to them right so that's why it's always best to go polite first and then when you feel comfortable with someone you start shifting a bit more to casual. That's why I. That's why I learned over the years, when meeting Japanese people, and it's it, I, I. It's never failed me. So usually you should start with the, the polite first. Doesn't mean you shouldn't do, uh, you know. Uh, doesn't mean you should. You shouldn't be casual. All right. Sorry, I, I took too long. 
just want to say that. Alright. Skudu is a group one. Uh, how do you, how do we do this? Oh yeah, Udu as well. Yes. So, group. So it's group. So you remove the last. Always, it's for group one. Is always the last, the last character. You change that uh, for group ones. You change that into the, the, the E sound. So in this case, it's screw Dimas. Yeah. So. Oh my God, Riku, you're late, man. Riku, how, 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 why, why are you so, why are you late for the stream, man? You should be an example. <sighs> I can't believe it. Uh, next stream is on Saturday. Yeah, Riku, you're the one. You're you're the one. You're the one who needs to be to be on the stream the most because you're the one giving out homework. No, 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 that's not an excuse. Alright. You're giving out homework. You should be you should be here. Alright. That's enough bully for him. <laughs> Alright, for Furu. Um oh yeah, wait. Uh does anyone know the uh, okay, for the two for the two verbs, tatsu. Do you know what I'm, uh do you guys know, know the meaning of tatsu? What's the meaning of tatsu? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else want to try? Tatsu. Okay. So, uh, so mo in the in the general sense, it means to stand. Yes. Uh, there's another. This one I only heard because uh, my I have a Japanese gaming group who play Switch and they play Splatoon. And they say group or tat, uh, tatimas, which means to make they uh, to make a group or to create a group. In uh, that in that sense, it works, but it's not really used. Usually, it means to stand. Yes. No, it's not the stand from JoJo or whatever whatever anime it's from. All right, it just means to stand. I, I I'm sorry, guys. I don't keep up JoJo memes. Uh, that's not that's not my kind of anime. I hate that art style. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think it's just, it, it's very, very, I guess it's just, it feels very, um, unpolished in my opinion. I'm sorry guys, I have to make, I have to be honest here, like, I don't, I don't like the art style. Um, uh, whenever, whenever I see those kind of art style, I get put off by the anime so much, yeah. I'm sorry to make you guys sad, but it's just it's just it's just how how it is for me. Like, I care much about the art style. Like, if I if I see something and it doesn't, uh, my <laughs> my if, if my eyes are just like, oh my god, I can't I can't stand this. Then I just won't read it. All right, um, sorry about that. I had to I had to make clear about my about my stand on um on on that anime. Okay. Back to back to back to the back to the homework. Alright, Furu. So I, I I think you guys are getting the pattern already, right? Anyone here wanna have uh, anyone here have questions? Anyone here have anyone here have a have any questions related to the to this homework? You wanna ask something? I'm I am i am I'm gonna show you guys how to, to to watch without um subs, don't worry. Okay. Do you guys know what fudu means? Alright, some of you have some of you asked a question, right? What does fudu mean? Oh. Wait, 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 I'll I'll go I'll go through the exceptions after. Um but for now, uh I just wanna finish this first. So Okay. So whenever we fudu Ah yes, skuru. Um, thanks for reminding me, uh, Orange. Uh, what does skuru mean? I I I shouldn't get like sidetracked because we have one more question and I want to get to it. 
yeah to make mm-hmm. good yeah uh usually you would use it with like food so yori o tsukuru yori o tsukuru so to uh to make make something uh you can yeah it you it's the general verb used for making stuff of course there's more like exact terms like with nuances and stuff but usually uh yeah usually you use uh, skuru for create or to make sorry all right furu so for those of you who don't know furu is the verb used for whenever a lot of times you hear in like like anime any songs i guess or like um just japanese music in general ame ga furu does that make have you guys heard that line before ame ga furu or i guess ame wa furu kind of makes sense as well yes okay so what does ame mean I'll go into I'll, I'll go into ga like um yes very good yes it's furu is the it's 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 like um it's mainly for rain yeah it's for yeah so when it, whenever whenever we say ame ga furu it's like um it's usually meant to say like liquid i guess uh liquid particles are dropping I guess that's the best way I can say it because usually you only use furu when it comes with snow or rain. So it's um yeah, that's that's what the uh the verb means. So furimas is the correct polite uh, form. If I'm wrong, let let me let me know as soon as possible so I can be like, oh okay, uh, I did this wrong. Yeah. All right. Continuing on. So for neru for sleeping. Uh. So neru means to sleep. I'll just put it out there. So this is a group two verb. Ne mas yes. Because it's a group two, you remove the root and make it. Uh, yeah, group two, correct. So neru becomes nemas, not nerimas. All right, make sure you don't get it wrong. It's nemas because it's a group two. There's okay. There's two. There's there are two words. Um, usually, I thought nemuru was the correct way to say it, but no, nemuru is also a word that means sleep. But most of the time, whenever you whenever you say I'm just gonna go to sleep, you usually use the word neru. But then, then nemuru is more of like deep sleep. I think uh, I don't actually know the nuance. I probably have to search this up. But uh, neru is the more commonly used term for sleep. Nemuru is not that. That isn't wrong. Uh, yeah, you're not. Uh, you. The word nemuru is. It's still sleep, but there is a. Uh, I guess a, a nuance between neru and nemuru. I gotta search it up because I, you, I still haven't really learned the, the meaning behind those two. So I can't really give you an answer at the, at this point in time. Uh, but yes, you're correct. It's alright. Okay, last one. Habemas. This should be easy for you guys. Habiru. This should be easy for you guys. I'll type. I'll, I'll I'll type it as you do. Be easy. This should be easy. Don't get this wrong. Yeah, Habemas. You guys better not get it wrong. <laughs> Or, or, or I will take the position of the Duolingo bird and be like, "All right, you, 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 you forgot your study today. It's um, it's, it's, it's time to shape. It's time to uh, strain you out. Beware the Duolingo bird. No, beware the egg bird. Now, 
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna change it today. It's, it's gonna be the expert now, and if you don't study, I will come with a knife or a, a gun <laughs> and force you to study. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't scare you guys. I promise. Just um, just have a bit of fun here. Okay. Uh, now that we're done, uh, uh just um. <laughs> All right. Uh, just really quickly. Uh, the 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 exceptions that I know for. Group two for group one Edu verbs. Write this down because uh No I know that's not right. There we go. Hold on, did I get right? Hold on. Okay. This one always gets me. Forms. Okay, no, no. It's, um... It should be... Alright. There you go. <sighs> Alright. That was correct. Uh, and then Hashidu. Ah. There we go. Those two. So, those two are the exceptions. It's alright, Blue. Just come back another time. Or like, watch. All right. If you can make it on Saturday, come to come on Saturday. I I, I literally made it, made this one at uh, an eight p.m. um less uh review stream for a reason because not everyone can attend my twelve p.m. one. If you can attend that one, go for that one. Write this down, friends. Exceptions. These two are two of them. I don't know which one else. 4 p.m. So, uh, right now. So, currently 9 p.m. So, 12 p.m. Uh, hours plus 12. So, 15. So, why have 15 hours? Just hold on. Okay, I'll, I'll open this up for you. Uh, EST2. Uh, EMT. Alright, I don't want to waste more. Okay. We haven't got to the main the main part yet, which I want to raise. All right, so take this down. Should be okay. I see. No, damn. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, here we go. That's just one. Can okay, I see? Uh, this is UTC time, so do as you will, this. It's, um, it's one hour after Japan, so for Japan time, it'll be 11 a.m. So, for Japan time, it'll be minus one, so it'll be 11. Yeah, so, I'll put the times up, so don't worry about it, like, uh, It'll be it'll be up so you guys can see it and like plan for your plan for the stream. If you can make it, make it. 
uh, if you can't watch the VODs and then maybe come try and come on uh, on Wednesday so you can catch up I'm sorry like um hey 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 all right I tried I tried doing the 8 p.m. on Saturday not many people came and I want to cater for everyone so that's why I'm doing 12 p.m. classes and 8 p.m. classes. If I'm to do more streams, um, I will be saying on my Patreon soon and I'll release that. And if you guys are willing, you can support me. Uh, but as, uh, as of now, I can't really do full, I can't really do this full time. So you guys are gonna have to help me if you um, if uh, if you want me to do this full time or like you want me to just go um, to stream anytime because I can only pick out certain times. Yeah, I know it sucks, but that's just how it is for me. Yeah, Patreon stream as well. I can do that. All right. Uh, moving on to the the, the last question. All right, now I know Riku here tried to do some homework, but he uh, he didn't exactly do it properly. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some words. You guys are going to you guys are gonna try and figure this out. You guys, I gave you a list of vocab. All right, right here with the hiragana, the furigana readings. Can you guys see this? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not meant to scare you. Alright, so what you- Okay, what, what I want you guys to do here? Oh, you gotta go to sleep, okay. I, I thought you were just backing up because you were just like, Oh my god, this is too much for me. Alright, if you gotta go to sleep, it's fine. Alright, okay, um... Uh, have fun. Uh, hopefully you can come on Saturday. Alright. Now, if you guys understand the particles, or at least the basics, right? You guys should be able to pick out from these, pick out stuff from here. Simple sentences, you don't even need, it doesn't need to be long, right? Let me give you an example. I'm gonna give you guys an example, and you guys are going to do it. Uh, make your own sentences. All right. Here's a quick one. All right. I'm gonna give you guys like five minutes. Um, everyone is gonna have. Everyone is gonna take five minutes. Pick something out of this. And make sure you use these particles. So I want everyone to use at least like one of each uh, to try and to try and understand its usage. You're gonna pick out this like you're you like. All right, think of this as like Lego, right? You, so, someone, I give you a Lego box. You guys have to pick out the parts to make something out of it. I don't know. Think of it like that. Yeah. So you get you're gonna you're gonna take out one of each type or at least like I don't know. It can be two of each type, or uh, however many as you want, as long as it makes sense. I'm gonna give you five minutes each. Um, all you have like time for a few a few sentences. I want to see what you guys can do. So I want you to type the chat if um what's it your sentence, and if it may, right, I'm gonna read through it like slowly. And if I if there's one that I see that's like uh, incorrect, I'll like uh I'll show you guys how to do it properly. Right, so where's the dot watch? All right, clear. Down. Yeah. All right. Begin. So, choose from these words. Make a sentence. It should be quick. If you guys like, actually like, uh, paid attention, 
uh, it should not be hard. Like, I, I literally made this as simple as possible. I just gave you all the words already. You guys don't even need to go into the dictionary to find these. I literally went into a vocab list and it's like, all right, I'm gonna pick this up, pick that up, pick that up. So. Okay, one. All right, uh, Hamid, uh, that's good. Uh, I've not taught uh, adjectives yet, but that is correct. Yes, that's good. Uh, Riku, just try and do a simple sentence, please. Don't try and overcomplicate it. Alright. Sanji ni hono yomimashita. I read a book at 3, three o'clock. Correct. Alright, good. Uh, Ashi wa goji desu ka? No, that's. Oh, ima wa joji. Oh, okay. Not, not watashi. Ima wa goji desu ka? Alright, good. Uh, Gakusei wa hon o taberu. What? Um, also, try and make it polite, uh, just just for the sake of like uh, learning this. Polite forms. Uh, I don't want casual forms yet because uh, I want you guys to get into good habits first. Good habits first, so always start polite. And then once you're used to it, you can start omitting. You can start uh, being a bit more casual. Student aid book. Are you sure? I mean, it, it, I mean, okay, makes sense, but uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay. Kare no one san wa daigakusei desu. Very good, Frosty. That's good. No ni. In this case, it should be kino wa because in kino is used as the subject, and you're trying to point out the event that happened yesterday. I went to see a doctor yesterday. Uh, it should be Kinoa, but that's good. Yeah, Goblin, you already got it. Like, actually, that's a um, was it? Aini Ikimasu is a uh, is like a bit more of an advanced topic, but yeah, you're correct. So it's, so it's good. You already, you kind of already know that. I think maybe it's because of what we uh learned today. Should should be Kinoa. Uh, if I if I if I'm wrong, uh, just tell me, because <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I tend to be a bit nervous whenever I'm like making sure. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. You're 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 picking up really well. So what hair that Nihongo or Benkyo shite must ka? Um, are you studying Japanese? Okay. Yeah, X rays, you're good. Uh, you're good. Uh. No, so oh, I can't reach. I, I'm sorry. The the one with the uh, the Chinese character, I can't reach your name. Can, uh, can you give me the opinion? If uh, if you're, Mizu or Nomimas. Yeah, Pantrax, you're fine. Um. Huh? Watashi wa Mizu or Nihoni Nomimas. I drink. I I'm going to drink water in Japan. Hmm. I would say yes, but I guess just to be. I guess more for more clarity, I would say you should put it put mizu or right before nomimas. Just it's, it's it just makes it easier, you know. Uh, it's not necessarily that it's wrong per se, but it's better if you do it mizu or nomimas. Yeah. It just sounds, it just flows better with um, the noun or nom, no, noun or normal. Dashi no onisan de must. No, 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 no. Okay, whenever I mentioned this before, whenever you use a, whenever you use a verb that ends like when you reach the destination, you use ni. So, watashi no onisan ni. Uh oh, actually your your sentence doesn't even make sense, Danella. Uh, okay. Alright, I'm just not gonna put that up there. You know what? I'll just like read through. You guys can like keep making sentences. Okay, Titan. Okay, so what do you write? Sorry, I need to go back and read your thing. Titan. Watashi wa goji ni toshokan de ikimasu. No, it should be ni ikimasu always. 
whenever you write a ni, whenever you, whenever you write an, uh, whenever you have an iku as a verb, it's always ni. It's never there. You never. Use, I don't think there's such a. There, I don't think you ever use a there for an iku because uh, usually uh, because the action stops. From what I learned today, the action will stop when the, whenever the action stops. When you reach the destination, that's when you use ni. You don't use uh, de. No, 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 no. It should never. It, it's it's always ni ikimas, ni ikimas. Never de ikimas. That's never. That that doesn't. That's like incorrect. Then say what? Ichiji ni jimusho de giru gohan o tabemas. Yes, Eddie, your your. That's good. Very good. Yeah. Yes, Toby, you're good. Asta Otosan wa Kaido de drive ni ikimas. So, Frosty, you're almost there. Like, this, that's. I would say it makes sense. This, uh, drive can also be used as a uh, katakana, I'm sure. Uh, wait, let me check. Checked out, but I would in your in your case I'll use unten suru. So yeah, okay. So it makes sense. Uh, drive in I'm uh, going to drive in Hokkaido. Yes, that is correct. But it's but there's another one. Uh, and so see that number two. Unten suru, so you can also use unten suru as unten shimas for the the verb. Yeah. Rashi no haha wa sanji ni jimoso de hiru gohan tabemas. Yes, good job. Yeah, goblin is good. Ah, kyo wa watashi no heya de anata no aishi no itteimas. That's pretty good. Yeah, extra eyes are good. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for for those of you who don't know, um, whenever you're whenever you're ha whenever you're writing Japanese or whenever you're doing Japanese, uh, you a lot of times the subject, especially if it's referring to yourself, is not. You don't. You usually don't put it in there unless you want to emphasize something about you. You usually wouldn't put a a. Watashi wa or boku wa or, or if you're super casual, you use ori wa um, or something like that. I don't know. You, yeah. Uh, okay, so Riku is almost correct in that in in that sense, but it's like um, if the important thing to know about omitting the yeah, but. That's all, but in this case, we don't know the subject, so I would highly suggest people put a wa first so that they are, they are aware. Um, just again to, to the habit of it. Uh, once you guys are aware of how the sentence is supposed to work, then you start. Uh, then you start slashing. So Riku is correct in that way that it, it's not really declared once uh, anymore once it's known. But it's still important to leave it in there if you still don't understand yet. Like if you're a beginner, do it. But if you're but a natural speaker would usually omit the watashiwa. Anata is not really used as well. So usually you would use the name of the person followed by a suffix. So san, kun, uh, chan for girls. Uh, for really, 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 really high people like the Emperor, Sama. Um, so for like gods and stuff. Uh, uh, if you want to go into, if you want to address a really cute, uh, if you want to make fun of someone, just say um, some uh, dash tan, T-A-N. Um, the name. So instead of Anata, you use the name. The name plus the, the honor fix. So, It'll be san. I was right. I'll just show you guys. So it can be san, uh, sama. In my case, it's ekun. So you can just use ekun because it's already like it's mixing my um, my my 
my name with the suffix. So you see Kun here. Kun here is a... Oh, mine is rude. You don't... Yeah, you usually you won't say it to people. Like, you wouldn't mention the word you. No, no. Just in general. Like, uh, even Kimi, it depends on, like, who you're talking to. So, if you're talking to someone higher than you, so someone who is older, an older Japanese person, you would never, you would never use Omai. You would never use Kimi. It would just be like, you know, you'll probably get a big shock. Yeah, just... Okay, this is my advice. If you want to go and learn like swear words, you can. But just be aware, it can be, you know, it can be a double-edged sword here because like, um, I know Riku doesn't speak rude like words, but for some people, whenever they, you know, they watch anime, they're like, oh, okay, I, I can't know uh, Japanese. Yeah, because Ma Masumi knows what she's talking about. She's talking to an audience that like, Matsuri is talking to an audience that enjoys her, uh, her conversation. Yeah, that. All right, Coco memes a lot. Okay, so my one is at, my one is, is official lessons. It's not. I'm. I. I don't meme a lot in that sense. Like I don't. Sh I don't really shit post. Um, in my lessons, if it's like for to educate. I, I, I don't feel like it's right to because it's like I don't want to waste you guys time and if you, you guys came to my channel obviously you, you're you serious about learning this so that's why I don't no you see yeah so Rico you shouldn't do that not now um yeah <laughs> it's, it's always best to just do it polite like do it the right way first once everyone's comfortable and they know um, it's just like when you're playing a game, right? Um, you want to optimize. Okay, I I'm gonna go into a bit of a game speak here, so if you don't understand, just don't worry about it. Just the point. I'm, uh, when you're playing a game, for me, I like to uh, try and you know kill a boss with like you know max restrictions. Try and optimize. Try and make uh, make something uh, or like do the most. Uh, the, the most damage and I'm really really particular about the um about those about the the subtle things just to be able to get more performance out of my gameplay. Uh whenever I'm doing whenever I'm finding a boss right I don't I I don't usually think about the min-max stuff first so I don't really think about optimizing yet. That's the same. That's the same concept here. You don't think about those subtle things yet until you've like got the basics down. It's the same thing with anything. You always want to get the basics down first before you go into the subtle things or like the nuances. Um, no offense, to Riku, uh, but because he learned all the like he he tried learning all the nuances without learning the basics or like he hasn't really had a uh, I guess concrete foundation so it's like you know when you're trying to communicate you might struggle and then someone if they if they if, they, if, they, if they're not aware of the context they'll be like what are you saying I don't understand you so that's why it's always best to start the general the right way first and then um and then after that, you can like propagate into other into other areas. All right, all right. Let's get back into it. Um, keep going, guys. Uh, I will write one myself. Yeah, I, I, I so if there's any R18 stuff, I'm not gonna be talking about it in stream. <laughs> it's just uh, I prefer to keep my streams like purely like the right educational not the um not the yabai <laughs> uh sensei wa oh oh oshiemasu keep going we still have 30 minutes before lami's um uh before lami's uh stream so you guys wanna keep, go keep going 
30 minutes to follow me stream and you guys can go and watch if you want well like if you're up for it Lami streams in 30 minutes keep going ah oh, Riku should take some time to like watch my stream first and then, or like you know uh learn if you do they not say what well after things like dates they do uh no, they, they, you, you would use wa, like, especially if it's like, when you're describing a situation of a certain day, then yes, you would use wa. But if it's like, but if, but if the focus is on, that, that's why that wa is for the, the subject, what you want to focus on is very important. So that thing, wa, is... So let's say let's 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 say a person, right? So in my case, let's 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 look at this sentence here. Sensei wa nihongo oshemas. So the teacher teaches Japanese. What's the focus here? It's not this. It's not this. The teach is just the verb, the action that happens. But the one doing the action is the teacher, sensei. Everything that happens before the wa is the focus. So in the case of days, like Kyo, Ashita, Asate, if you want to go into the day after tomorrow, you know those words, they are uh, they are usually a subject. Yeah. Kinoni doesn't really sound natural. Does you know Imoto? Uh, yeah, 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 no, no. It, it, so, all right. So, gob, goblin. First of all, your sentence is correct. Um, oh, I will teach the rest of the uh, the other particles on um on Saturday. So, like the the stuff like no, ga, uh, the adjectives. Um, that's all gonna happen on Saturday. Uh, it could be yesterday. It could be yesterday it happened, but yesterday isn't necessarily the focus. So, a lot, a lot of times when you use kyo and kino, as far as I know, you would usually use wa, because uh, you're trying to focus on the events of what happened yesterday. As far it is what I'm, what I understand from it, uh, I might be wrong. The reasoning might be incorrect, but I know that. Uh, that whenever you use Asta and Kyo and you know, usually it has a Wa particle. That's okay. Yeah, Rico's home is just for memes. Uh, do you guys want to give give this a shot? Like, there's still <clears throat> there's still more there's still more you guys can try. Asta wa koni mas. Yeah, good. Yeah, Kyoni is like it's it doesn't sound correct. Like kudatta. Hmm. I'll be teaching the adjectives and adverbs on Saturday, so come along for that one. Uh, Riku used adjectives, not correctly, and with the slang, which is not, which is not really how he should be doing the homework yet, because usually when you use sensei wa iman. Hold on, let me let me check if iman can be used in an example sentence, because I don't think so. Let me check my dictionary. Uh. Okay. So Ima can be used. Ima actually doesn't need a uh wa from what I'm reading here. Uh
usually the um okay so i, I I'm, I'm a bit wrong in that aspect check yeah so i don't know why this is it i got i, I have to search this up uh oh no i've rolled it down okay so uh, I, I just I just went through my uh, dictionary. So uh, the words like ashta, ima, they don't use they don't use particles for some reason, and I don't know why. I will ima was okay, but I need I need to I need to search this up. I I have not. Uh, I can probably address that on Saturday, but uh, but everything else is everything else is fine. So like the subject can be a people. Uh, be a person. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of times it's a person uh, or living object, and then the things would be you know the object. Yeah. Uh, just sleep. Just just keep that question now. Uh, so for for now, just keep that in mind. Uh, I will search this up, and I'll probably get back to you guys on. I guess Saturday and I address that but for now uh, just know uh, those the the, the words ima you know in ashta do not do not need the the do not need the the wa particle yeah anyways uh, let's finish this Genki is pretty good. If you're if you're a beginner, um, you can start with that. Um, I'm just trying to help, uh, try to help everyone like study. So besides learning Genki, right, the important thing is always to learn the hiragana and the katakana. Philippine. So the the country. Oh, don't know. I'm sorry. Eki de mizo nomimasu. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Eki de mizo nomimasu. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's correct. Yeah, sorry, Dana. <laughs> yeah, Philippines, the country. Yes. Hold on. So Tan. Oh my god. I think I got your name wrong again. I'm sorry. The. Where is it? Uh. Titan. Okay. So for Titan, your. Uh, your sentence is correct. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, all right. So for for you, Rich, go back to my go into my katakana stream. I explained a lot of stuff there. Uh, it's a bit hard for me to talk about it now because it's like I only plan for. Uh, just the grammar today. So go back to that stream. So if you're subscribed to my channel, uh, I mean, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe my channel first, please. And then um, go on to check my past streams. Yeah, uh, I people seem to have enjoyed it, so I would say that helps a lot. That would help a lot for you. I hope that um, answers your question, Rich. Yeah, if you just go through my channel, you should find that. It's, it, I haven't done a lot of streaming yet. So this is like my stream, stream number five for me. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so that's one way you can look at it. Yeah, Hiragana has smooth lines, so a lot of curls and um, swirlies. But um, well, Katakana, it's like straight and smooth katakana is more smooth than hiragana hiragana is more swirls and uh, uh spirals okay um uh, you guys know how to use these verbs hajimeru and hataraku no 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 oh so 
Tommy, right? So I type in chat, right? So this is a hiragana ka. This is a katakana ka. You see the difference? That is the difference. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Tommy, you, you've... Okay. I'm gonna explain this to you very quickly. All right. Okay. So Tommy, if you haven't watched my past streams, you should go back and watch it. Okay. You see the difference here? Oh, okay. All right. So the kanji, not the hiragana, the katakana. Okay. How to best explain this? Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it was the hiragana and the um the the, the katakana. I was like, why'd you get why you get that confused? All right. So like for the kanji, right? How do you tell the how do you tell the difference between that and that? Okay. You ha you have to look on it by a word by word basis. So when you see the word chikara, right? It's not uh usually it's if it's by itself when it's a katakana, it's at the end. It's always at the end because some people sometimes, you know, some I don't know, text may put the ka at the end for some reason as a yeah. So you always want to read the the words first. Yeah, context is this Japanese is a context-based language. So you understand the words based on other words in the sentence. You read the you read the words in a sentence from left to right, and usually, when it comes when it, when it's chikara right for the when it's this one, so chikara, it will usually have like a o or y or wa. So these two particles we use those two. Usually, chikara would, uh, would a o or a wa would follow, whereas with a katakana ka, right, you have uh, uh, anivaru, right. So you see how the you see how this um this katakana ka it has the the the, the vowel extender chikara would not have that a lot of times it's like the katakana would have other katakana up uh, uh i guess accompanying it with the word you can you can tell whether it's a katakana or a um Yeah, you can tell whether it's a katakana word, uh, katakana character, or the kanji chikara, based on if it has a particle, or if it's based on the on the word. Yeah. Yeah, it's carnival, carnivalu. Yes. The the point here is I'm trying to make is that yes, kanji is always with hiragana. Never with katakana. That's how you tell the difference. Uh. Yeah. Uh, you can't really see it here, but yeah. Usually, you yeah. Usually, you would see the the katakana as a word itself. So it's just one line of katakana, or one like one string of characters of katakana that is the um you will know it's katakana if it's a string of katakana characters you will know that it's a kanji if it has a particle usually it's, it has a particle if it doesn't have a particle it, doesn't, it just doesn't make sense but it should have a particle after it to indicate that it's kanji and not katakana yes i know it's confusing but that's how it
anyone have any other questions for me um the stream's gonna end in like i don't know 10 minutes because you know the the fifth gen's gonna, the fifth gen debut is gonna start soon so i think everyone wants to go and watch that 15 minutes anyone to try anything else here okay you guys i'm I'm sure it should be easy for to for you guys to use Hajimeru and Hataraku, right? You guys know how to use these two. Hajimeru and Hataraku. Try make a sentence out of it. I want to see if uh, you guys get it or not. Yep, right. Uh, then all your, uh, that's good. Thank you, Hajimemas. Yeah. I seen Hajimemas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the difference, with, okay, so Fatcher, you're correct. Um, it's just that I use the transitive version, which I will do. I'll, I'll talk about transitive and transitive in another lesson, but basically, uh, yes, you're correct. Um, transitive, uh, transitive verbs. The ones that usually act on a particular object with the O particle, uh, there are certain words for it. So in my case, Hajimeru will require a an object with an O particle, and then Hajimarimas, uh, Hajim, Hajima, Hajimaru would just require Wa in the subject. That's it. Benkyo, ah, Nihongo o Benkyo Hajimarimas. Okay. Um, so exercise for you, I would say just put the O for now. Like, uh, don't forget that yet. Uh, or like, don't remove, don't omit that yet. Jinjin YouTuber or Dai Vol. Okay, Goblin is correct. Yo, what? Um, ooh. Okay. So for orange, uh, orange, uh, Instead, you can put Kyo One san wa hatarikimas. That would that would be a lot better, um, because I mentioned just now, uh, just for now, just just see that whenever you use uh, uh, a word like Kyo, you usually wouldn't put the wa. So it should be Kyo One san wa hatarikimas. Does that make sense? Yeah, but. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write one more. Sensei this car. Yeah, reach your that that one's good. Um, yeah. Uh, my older sister is working today. Correct. So I'm gonna write one. Uh. Aniwa There we go Aniwa jimsho de hatarikimasu My brother's going to work in Oh, okay So, Jia Um So The The no, 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 wait. Let me let me explain. So the the word the word for to laugh, right, is warao. Hey, read this. And then warao um has this kanji. So you'd see this in Japanese streams. This one, this kanji. So people put that as like a lol, right? So that transformed into this. So what you see here is a www for lol in Japanese speak. And because you see it looks like grass here. Does it look like grass to you? Does this look like grass to you? Yeah. And because of that, it changed to this. And so, I know it's a bit of a shock and a revelation to you, some of you guys, but that's how it is. Yeah, that's how that's how it changed. 
Yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> Psychology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, you know how for us, it's just like, we just type lol, and then lol, and then uh, lmao. Yeah, every, all of us like to show on stuff. Even Japanese people like to show on stuff. That's why they omit everything. Well, not everything, but, you know, the unnecessary stuff. Yes. In the last sentence, whenever they put whenever they put wara in um in brackets, it just means that they're that they're laughing really hard. There's another funny one that someone said was daikusa. <laughs> daikusa. Um. That was that was the first time I learned in um. Uh, in from whole life, daikusa, <laughs> big kusa. Um. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna end the stream soon. So, any do you, any of you guys have any questions? Thanks. Oh yeah. Um, thanks to everyone for coming to listen or like, um, hear me stream today. Uh, I enjoy your company. Uh, I hope to have more. So I, I wish to see more people. You know, just talking my stream. I mean, obviously not like spam, but you know, I just like to see you guys talk, talk it out of each other. Yeah. Just keep, keep, um, keep sharing my stream for those who want to learn Japanese. Just bring them here. Just be like, yeah, I'm sorry, Eminem, you are very late. <laughs> I'm just about to end the stream, man. Um, yeah, just let people know if they want to learn Japanese. Just come, tell them to come watch. My stream we got nice music here um i you know what I, I don't care if like people just copyright claim and all it's not uh, was it it's like fun it's free music um and two i'm gonna find another way for the monetization so i'm not too worried about the um the copyright stuff anymore i just don't want my videos to go down yeah i hope to make it more fun for you guys um I hope you guys can give me more suggestions. Any tips on how to write characters properly? Um, I guess just watch online. Three more likes. It's actually sixty-five on my side. Uh, Tan. Uh, oh my god! I can't believe I I keep getting your your name wrong. Tan Tan. Yeah. You're just gonna have to like find one that suits you. Thanks for streaming you. Uh no not really. Like depend like okay, so I'm just gonna be, be really quick. Uh for for you Gia. From what I know, so there's uh there's people who stream like stuff in Japan and they don't really need to write. So in terms of like uh you you're not exactly working in any sort of like thing which requires you to write stuff and I would say no but a lot of if I if you're thinking about being serious you want to stay there you want to like uh, raise a family or something or yeah, you just go there and like live there for the long term I'd say it's important to learn how to write yeah Python yeah oh so, Anything else? Any I hope that answers your question by the way, GR. Anyone else have any other questions? Because I'm just gonna close this like one minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, enjoy the uh enjoy the fifth fifth gen stream. Yeah, I'll prepare the uh, lesson for for Sally. Okay, I guess since no one has any questions, um, I'll be closing stream. Uh, if you guys still want to chat, just move to my to the study room I set up because I, I, I literally set up for people to just discuss stuff, you know. 
um, and no one is chatting there, so I don't know why um, people are not um, using it. But I hope people ask questions there. To be honest, this is I can read that if you if you're not on Discord, I can read there. So yeah, use use the um that 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 chat guys. Put your questions there. Check my channel. Like it should be is is it private? Or like it it should be planned, right? Hold on. Okay. Um I'm just gonna close it here. Uh if uh just check my videos, you should be able to find it. Alright, I'm going to on the uh the call the closing or the closure for my stream. Thanks guys for coming. Enjoy your uh, enjoy this enjoy the debut stream. Yeah. I'm off. Bye bye. See ya.